You know, I don't quite understand how come liberals don't look at history. The President Obama makes a deal with Iran. He's dealing with the devil here. Don't you remember Clinton made a deal with North Korea? Gave them billions for food. What did they do? Build nukes. Do you really think Iran's going to stop continuing to build nukes? I mean, really, people? You know what gets me is the Libs deal with terrorists, yet the Tea Party is a threat to democracy. Let me explain that. Again, the people that want less government, lower taxes, and less regulations, they're a threat to the human freaking race. But Iran, Syria, and North Korea, they're no threat to nothing, right? I mean, really, how does that make sense? How are liberals, Obama goes after the Tea Party a lot harder than he does dealing with terrorists. And they can't even call them terrorists. It's like workplace violence. It's like, well, it's a disaster. It's man-made disaster. That's what it was. I mean, this is insane. I can't believe the Democratic Party. They're such freaking radical nutjobs nowadays. They go after the Tea Party, call them terrorists. They don't call the real terrorists terrorists. They're the anarchists, the Tea Party. Again, really? I mean, let me, I'll talk slower for liberals. People that want less government, lower taxes, and less regulations. I'm not saying no government. I'm not saying no taxes. I'm saying less and less and less. You know, we need some regulations, but they want less. So they're the threat to the human freaking race. But the terrorists, no, the people that are beheading people, the people that are stoning women to death, the people that kill gays, for what? For being gay. Yeah, these are the people we're dealing with. And now I found out today... We're going to improve their airplanes. We're going to help rebuild Iran's airplanes. We already gave them billions of dollars, too. Can you believe that? I don't get this. And what did we get in return? Well, let me ask you this. When Clinton, he, had, he went to North Korea to get Lisa Ling's sister out, freed from North Korea. I believe it was Lisa Ling. I think it was her sister or cousin. Someone that was one of her family members. He went to North Korea, got her out. Why didn't President Obama ask for Pastor, what's his name, Sadid Abedini? I believe I'm saying that right. And the other Americans that are held there, why didn't he ask for their release? Is it because he's a Christian pastor? Is that why? I mean, if it was Bill Ayers, you think he'd ask for the release? Hey, you got Bill Ayers head up in uh, Iran. Can you let him out? Oh, no problem. Really? These are the people last week that are chanting death to America. And they still want to destroy Israel. But yet the President of the United States, no problem. No problem. Why not ask for these people's return? When you made the deal with Russia, why didn't he ask for Snowden in return? I mean, this guy asked for nothing. Nothing. And gives up everything. I mean, this is unbelievable. This country's a threat to the human race. Iran is a threat to the human freaking race, folks. Not the Tea Party people that want less freaking government. You explain that to me in a liberal mindset, I'll never understand that. I really won't. I just cannot believe how these people freaking think. You know what Obama should do? Maybe tell them they can have the nukes. If they like the nukes, they can have them, period. Then we know he's playing them if he does that, right? Then we know he's just playing with them. Then we know he's on our side, right? Really? Wow. The people that say death to America, we're giving them billions of dollars, let him continue the nuclear program. Uh, unbelievable. Hmm. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving, people.